Good morning. My name is Angela Gamba. I am from Colombia in South America, and I work for Universidad de la Sabana, which is located in a town near Bogota, the capital city. Today, I would like to give you a brief presentation about a pedagogical experience in which the practice of vocabulary strategies helped a group of physiotherapy students improve the reading comprehension skills of scientific articles. English, like in many countries, has become an everyday issue for students in Colombia. Day by day, they are required to develop receptive and productive skills in English, and not only for academic purposes, but for getting better job opportunities, or even just to get a job. That is why English has become a must in the educative institutions in Colombia. Although not all the students in the country have the opportunity to receive a bilingual education of quality due to the lack of teachers, resources, access, or just because they didn't have the opportunity to have qualified teachers. On the other hand, there are students who have had the opportunity to travel abroad for studying or living for some time. And this has allowed them to improve knowledge and gain confidence with the target language. But they all face the same challenges and difficulties once they enter college, because it is not only English the possible obstacle to succeed academically, but how skilled they are when reading. So regardless their level of comprehension in English, students must know how to interpret and understand content effectively in order to come up with relevant analysis of information and clear conclusions that lead them to the acquisition of new knowledge about specific topics. At the end, students end up developing reading comprehension skills in Spanish through the reading strategies developed in their English classes. One minimum but meaningful aspect to improve reading comprehension is vocabulary, and this is the reason why I am here with you today. Let me tell you why I chose a group of physiotherapy students for this study. These are students with little opportunity to have contact with the target language because their economic situation doesn't allow them to travel abroad as students from other schools do. However, like all the other students, they need to deal with scientific or academic articles written in English, and their English level is often lower to the standard level required in academic institutions. This makes them believe they are more disadvantaged than others feeling sometimes underestimated and unable to learn. And at the same time, this becomes an excuse for them to diminish their interest in reading in English. Although as a matter of fact, Colombian people in general don't like to read even in Spanish. When students see English as an obstacle to achieve their learning performance, feelings of frustration and anxiety might come up and if we put this together with the difficulty that the content of a text might have, those feelings might increase. An American psychologist, expert in human behavior, Ben Berger, stated in 2005 that frustration is experienced whenever the results you are expecting don't seem to fit the effort and action you are applying. And indeed, Reading in English implies lots of effort and time to understand content. This takes us to another situation, which is that students, in order to understand a reading easy and fast, they usually come up with different strategies, like using online translators or even by searching the articles in Spanish. That might be valid as a learning strategy, but not practical considering that most of the literature related to the field of study comes in English. So this led me to think on how I could help these students to make of the reading of scientific articles something trivial. 
a suitable technique that allowed them to access articles in English and focus their attention on key words that would become later the technical vocabulary they would need in order to understand an article more easily from the very beginning. So I designed pre-teaching vocabulary worksheets that allowed students to identify and use new words in a specific context for a further comprehension of scientific and academic texts. Undoubtedly, this is not new or innovative. And in fact, these worksheets require extra time from teachers to design them. But the point is that this effort will serve as the basis to promote learning in a scaffolded way, develop problem solving abilities and critical thinking skills which all together will lead them to build meaningful and long life learning strategies. It is worthwhile in this part to refer to Cottrell, who in 2005 pointed out that critical thinking skills involved the development of observation, reasoning, decision making, analysis judgment and persuasion, which bring lots of professional and everyday life benefits since learners become more accurate and precise on the way they work and think. Creating the discipline to read is one of the main challenges students have. Therefore, it is important to bear in mind that students are the ones responsible for implementing the techniques suggested by the teacher. This way, they can become autonomous and enlarge their vocabulary range to the extent they need it. Students also need meaningful experiences and engagement when learning new words, as Wilkos and Morrison stated in 2013. And this is what was done. As mentioned before, the participants of the study were students from the physical therapy school at the university. Their ages ranged between 18 and 20. They have taken five previous English levels and currently they are placed at a B1 level according to the Common European Framework. The sample included 36 students and the materials used were taken from the resources they have in their course syllabus and on actual class texts. The study lasted 16 weeks with two face-to-face -face hour classes per week. There was reading practice every two weeks. The first step was applying a pre-reading test with a non-academic reading, whose main objective was to identify the student's comprehension level when reading a text. The intention was also to create a comfortable and enjoyable environment for them once they felt they were not being graded and surprised at the same time when they found themselves reading a story about something totally different from their field of study. The reading was carefully chosen, making sure that there were unknown vocabulary for them. It was really interesting to see how dependent students are from external aids to know the meaning of every single unknown word, something that they consider necessary to understand a text. At the end of the activity, they realized that not all the unknown words really contributed to comprehend the story, and that the time they spent looking up for all those meanings was not really useful. This took us to the second step, in which students were asked to work in pairs, promoting collaborative work, and break down a scientific test with no help different from the content itself. Then they had to report what they had read in front of the class, this in order to check understanding and compare versions with the original text. The other five interventions included specific scientific articles that made part of their syllabus, together with their corresponding vocabulary worksheets, which included several vocabulary strategies such as puzzles and scrambled words 
labeling images, vocabulary finders, matching columns, filling gaps in context, closed questions, and open questions. This is the sample of one of the vocabulary sheets used during the study. The other activity related to scrambled words, the idea of this vocabulary worksheet was to apply them before uh, they started reading. Here we have the image association labeling, word search, matching, After they were this pre-teaching vocabulary, they had to read the text and then they came here to this part from the reading comprehension. And this one that was the open question that was uh, held through discussions. And this is the sample of one of the readings used uh, in their classes. Students were assessed during the 16 weeks through reading summaries, discussions, analysis of content through mind maps and oral presentations, showing an improved ability to report on their readings much more confidently and deeply with the plus that they started including new vocabulary when speaking. The acquisition of a wider range of vocabulary has a direct positive effect on reading comprehension, which definitely benefits students' self-confidence and motivation to making reading part of their professional daily work. It just remains for me to say thank you very much for your attention, and I hope you have found this presentation useful.